Nelson Nerd Show here and today we're doing another episode of My Morphin Collection and today as you can see we're doing the Megazord from um, Zeo or Power Ranger Zeo and this is the Zeo Megazord um, so this is the Zord they first start out with when they get the Zeo powers and stuff and um, they go through multiple Zords um, so we'll be doing a couple of them um, today but this is the first one out of the set which like I said is the Zeo Megazord um, and so Zeo is one of my favorite sets of Power Rangers. Like when I went back and watched the season, um, going through the Power Ranger seasons and stuff, I really enjoyed Zeo and stuff, and I really liked the Zords, like this one and stuff. This one's not my favorite. The next one is probably one of my most favorite uh, Zord, um, Zords and stuff, but I really like this one too. Um, so we'll kind of just get into it. As you can see, all the different body parts here and stuff. So we'll kind of just take it apart and get into it. So first up, we have the Pink Ranger and the yellow ranger as the legs. Like so we'll probably just kind of take it apart here and then put it back together. Then we have the green ranger bowl, the red ranger with the um, phoenix here. If I can figure out how to get it out. I can't remember how to get it out. Come on. Yeah. There we go. So that, and then of course the blue ranger with the lion thing and stuff. Now this is the old original. This isn't like a legacy or a legend, whatever you call it, legacy figure or anything. So this is old with the original stickers and everything, which are falling off and horribly placed and everything. Um, so as you can see, like that. Um, so I really need to get new ones to replace it, but I haven't been able to find any place yet. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with the pink one. So this is just how it looks as you take it off the leg and stuff. And so pretty much the only thing you you have to do, if I can get it to work here, is you fold the lid up, or the th part on the back, place the helmet type thing, which it is a helmet as you'll find out later on the top, and then you um, push on the back here, there's this little knob, you just push it up and the two little doors slide open and it's got like a gun. And I believe that's pretty much all it does. There is this um, thing here, which we'll get to later and there, but that's all this is. Now this is, the all these Zords, they don't really have individual like names or anything. They're um, just called Zeo Zord, like this is Zeo Zord 1. And uh, all I know is that um, from what I read about it is that it's called the uh, uh, Moai or something like that. It's based off something called the Moai. Um, not exactly sure. I know it's supposed to be like a, uh, um, kind of like, uh, like a statue type thing. Like somewhat similar to like the Easter Island, like statues and stuff like that. Um, don't know much more, uh, than that. Just that, um, uh, it's just supposed to be like this, like, kind of like a statue type thing. And the next one, you can really see it better. But, um, it's just hard to tell. Like, I don't know if you maybe like see like this being like eyes I don't know exactly what it is based off of exactly I just know the name if that's supposed to be like eyes and then the mouth and here or something I don't know exactly but it's just supposed to be some sort of like ancient mythological type thing and stuff but that's all there really is to that and then there is this part that I flip back in um, it's out to hold like the feet and stuff to keep it stable but you just push it back in um, but that's all like I said there's the stuff here but we'll get to that um, in a little bit but that's really all there is to this part so I'll go ahead and set it to the side and then we have Zeo Zord 2 which is the Yellow Rangers and it um, is based on uh, the Dogu which again is like another um, statue mythical type thing as you can see the, here these look like eyes and stuff for it and so again it's the same it's got a flap um, on the back that folds forward and then you put the helmet on top of it and can like point the guns straight forward and stuff like that. And then it also has the little trigger on the back that you push up and it outfolds two guns or what look like guns and stuff. And then of course on the back it's got the foot thing you can push in and then it's got the door which again we'll do something with here in a um, little bit. But that's all there is to this one now too. And as I said you can kind of see like the little eyes and stuff there of whatever this is supposed to be and stuff but again it's supposed to just be like a mythical like statue type thing and stuff so I'll go ahead and set this one over here and then we will go with Zeo Zord 3 which is the Blue Rangers lion here 
And so as you can see, it looks like a sphinx. It's hard to see with the light, at least for what I can tell. But it looks like a lion here. So again, when you take it off, it's the arms and stuff. And again, as you see, the stickers are coming off pretty bad. Um, but it's like shaped like this. And so it's pretty, these are pretty easy. All you have to do is take the arms, fold them back, and they pop in back here into these spots. You see, you just fold them in. And it does have this tail here, which you'll want to fold out. Um, so when you snap them together, it locks it in. So you can pull it out like that to have its tail. And then you got the back feet, which you just push back and adjust to fold the um, uh, feet out thing the little feet claws or whatever you want to call them. So there you have the back feet of the line and then its front feet are pretty much already set and everything. Um, I don't think they do much of anything else. Um, and then I think this part, I don't know if you had to do this first. Yeah, maybe you like fold the head up and then of course do all this stuff that we already did. So get that all back into place and stuff. And then it puts the like, head up a little higher and stuff like that. The Sphinx head. And I don't think it does anything else. I think it just sits there kind of like uh, that. I believe. I'm not. Oh, yeah. And then there's something else. This back here. It has this helmet. If I can get it off. That I had attached to the Phoenix. Um, this helmet thing. And so when you fold that up, it then attaches to the back here of the line. So you just have to kind of like push it in there. And it fits into that diamond looking spot so that it actually like fills out the head type thing and stuff. And so you have the lion now. Hopefully with its feet all adjusted and everything. Okay, there we go. And so I'll sit the lion back there. So that was the Blue Ranger. And Zeozord 4, um, we have the bull, which is um, based of course on Taurus. Because these are all like mythical things and stuff. So when you get it, it's just like this. So it's all folded up, and um, you pull the legs. I don't know if you have to, like. If you, I think if you squeeze these yellow parts, it makes it easier to like pull out. But since this is old, it just kind of comes out pretty easily. But if you like pull it, it helps pull like the bull's legs out and stuff. So then it gives it four legs and everything. And so that's really all there is to it. It does have a helmet. Um, this helmet that you can uh, take off and stuff and put back on. Oops. If I can get it back on now. So like that. Um, so that's all there really is to him. Oh, and he has his little tail too in the back there that folds out. But that's all there is to the bowl. Um, like I said, these are all pretty simple and easy. But that's how Power Ranger toys were in the old times. And then we have the Phoenix, which is the head and stuff, which is Zeozord 5. So go ahead and um, take the helmet off and sit it aside. I think you fold this um, little flap thing up. Bend the head back if I can get it to open back kind of open the wings because it looks like they they do kind of interfere so you fold that back snap that down and then of course you have the wings out for the phoenix and then of course you can fold the feet down which just fold down and you can adjust the things and then I believe the helmet goes up under its tail like that so it's kind of like hidden away and stuff like that and so there you have the phoenix so now we have all the zeozords um, all separated out as you can see and everything so now we get to put them all back together and kind of show some of the stuff they do um, I'm trying to remember exactly how this works um, let me see here because these do something kind of special I may have to look it up real quick and be right back Okay, so I figured it out, which is just what I thought it was, but I thought there was more to it. So you can take, like, uh, the lion, and then we'll just more do with the pink one here. And so if you open that compartment I showed um, at the beginning, you can pull these strings out, which look really kind of gross and dirty and stuff. Um, but you can pull them out, and then, of course, they fit through the bottom notches here. If I can get them to go through it. And then the door shuts back. And then you can sit it in the distance, then... Like on the line here, on the, it has these two like holes right there that you can then oops, take and push the strings into. And so it's going to be hard to see on the camera and stuff, but it then can like pull it with the wheels and stuff. And so it can pull, which I think that's what it did during the show. 
um, like when the Zords would first appear, that's they would be pulling out. And then the bowl does the same thing, where it has the two holes, one on that side and one on this side for the Yellow Ranger. And again, you just pull the strings out, get them into the slots on this door, and then attach them to the side of the bowl. I can get it put in there like that okay and then um, he can obviously pull the Zord as well pull that one and stuff which like I said that's how they came out during the show and stuff at the very beginning or not the very beginning but when you first see the Zords in the show and stuff they'd come pulling it out like that and then of course the Phoenix would just be flying in the distance and stuff so that's all they can do for now like later on they'll be able to do some more stuff um, but I guess we'll just put it back into Zord mode now, or the Mega Zord mode. So I guess um, we'll just take each of the legs. So of course, unplug the things and put them back in the spots or in the compartments up front here. Let's get those stuck back in. Oh, this cord stuck. Okay, and then so of course for this you just push um, those back in. Um, you can flip the little foot thing out so you don't forget to do it once you attach it then you just take the helmet thing pop it off the back here put that down and then um, I just always attach this back so I don't forget it but we'll, you need it later on so go ahead and hold on to it and so that's all you for that like I said super simple and easy for all this stuff not that hard and then we'll just repeat the exact same thing for the yellow one and so we'll just stick the strings back in here Shut the door, turn these things down so they fit back in the hole, shut them, flip the lid open, pull the helmet off if I can get it. It's kind of tough on this one. So pull it back, then flip the foot thing up. Okay, and so there we have the two feet, and again we send the helmet over to the side. And then we'll go with the bowl, so then flip the tail up and push it body together you can uh, also push uh, or squeeze on the yellow things help get it to slide forward Oops. just lost a horn oops I'll have to get that in a second um, which it seems that they don't really stick or anything and there I wish they it would stick but anyway so then we'll um, have the helmet there and then we'll go and stick the feet in which this can be kind of difficult if you don't know how to do it but you want to like stick the feet into the hole first and then like get them under the little ledge thing that they have and then slide it forward which this is one reason that I guess that I guess there we go so now the feet are locked in and they light up more that's what my problem was so you can help by squeezing on these to get it to slide forward but now it should go in um, relatively easy into the spot like that and you just do the same for this again start with the front and then push forward on it so there you have both feet and then like I said off to grab that other horn which is Chris of course flew all the way over there and stuff which um from what I learned a while ago I guess a lot of people are missing the horns but I got lucky and found this um, Zord that had both the horns and stuff so it's kind of cool to have both of those and then we will go with the lion here and again we'll just pull I guess we should probably actually start with this pull this helmet off and set that out of the way again for later and then we can go ahead and open the arms or the back legs arms in this case for the Zord fold the tail down then go ahead and fold um, this part down for the head and then under here the f bottom of the head snaps into a peg down here on the bottom when you have it in this form and then the feet still just stay out front like that I believe because I think they um or maybe they fold back. Yeah, they fold back, I guess. I was going to say, I think they stay, but I guess they do move. And then you can fold the feet down. Stay down, too. Like that. And then fold the arms around and stuff. And you can adjust the arms. This Zord has a lot of um, movability in its body and all sorts of stuff. And then you just snap it onto the top here, just like most uh, Zords do. If I can get in the hole like that. And there we go. So now I got that. So there's what it looks like from the back with the feet all bent back and everything. And the so the bowl 
the two feet and then the lion. And then with the phoenix then, you just open this up. Of course, you may want to take the helmet off this one too, which that's like its main helmet and stuff. Um, so then you fold the head down, fold the feet up, which I guess you need to fold the feet up first. I always forget. That was one thing when I first got this, I couldn't figure out why it would never work, but that's pretty much it right there. And then you just com close that compartment and then fold the wings down. And then it snaps into the back of the Zord here. And you just get it to push in and it lines up um, there. And then of course you can put the helmet on top, which is its main helmet. Um, and so give me just a second, I'll grab that horn and then we'll get back to Okay guys, so I'm ready now. So now we'll do the whole helmet type thing. And so with this helmet, which is, like I said, is its main helmet stuff, the Red Ranger, ver or the Red Ranger part. With this helmet, it's called Warrior Mode. And um, I'll, I assume just because that's what its, like, normal version is and stuff. But I really like this because I like the design on the helmet. It has all the logos, which for Zeo, the logos are all shaped. So you have um, the uh, Yellow Ranger is a circle. The... Um, Pink, or sorry, pink is circle. Yellow is like a double line, almost like an equal sign, but they're like rounded, which is hard to see on this helmet. Um, triangle for the um, blue ranger. Green ranger is a square, and red is the star. Um, and so that's what the whole like shape things are and stuff, which come into shape in the next sword and stuff. But so with this, the red one, it's the um, warrior mode. With the pink ranger of this one, we then have cannon mode. So then it has this giant cannon on the top of its head and stuff. And so it's got like this black part to be like where it sees out of and stuff like that. So we're going to take that off. Then we have um, the yellow ranger, which is rocket mode. So with its head like that. So it's got two blasters on the side of its head. I don't really understand the whole rocket thing unless... It's just like this and um, with the rocket it then just like shoot backwards or something. Because that's the only thing that re really makes sense why it's called rocket and stuff. But that is the yellow. Then we have um, the blue. Which has the pyramid thing that was on the back of the lion's head. And so it's got this and this little helmet part folds up. To reveal like a, like a headband type thing. And it snaps on there. And so then we have uh, the pyramid mode, of course, and so that it shoots like a mystic like thing out of its forehead and all that. I think it looks kind of weird, though. And then, of course, the last one, if I can get that off, we have, it's called gravity mode. I don't understand why it's called gravity mode. Um, but you can, it's supposed to go like this. I think it looks cool better the other way. Like that, where it's got the horn on top of it, or the horns on its head like that and stuff. I think it to me it would look cooler if it was the bull. If it was, uh, yeah, the bull like this, like I'm a bull, like that type thing. But it doesn't fit on really in that way or form. But it'd, it'd be kind of cool though. But we'll just stick it back on the front there. But that's pretty much if I can get this on. But that's gonna be it for the Zeo Zord and all its different forms and glories and everything. Like I said, you'll see this um, back in a. A um, couple videos and stuff because it goes um, with their whole Ultra Zord. I forget what they call them. Uh, I can't remember what they call them. But anyways, sorry for rambling so much. But that's going to be it for this Zeo Zord. So again, this is one of my favorite Zords because I like all the different like uh, animals or whatever and stuff and the feet things and all that sort of stuff. How they go with like mythological type stuff. But that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit the red subscribe button to see more. And remember, it's awesome time.